Hello, and welcome back to Unreal. This will be the final episode of Unreal. And I just have a few extra things to show you before I'm finished with this project. Um, and well, let's get to it. Uh, I will have to use the console in order to open those maps, because I don't think they're listed anywhere else. Well, maybe in the co-op, but... I don't want to launch through there. So, uh, something you have seen earlier that is in the last video, it is entry to this place. This is another uh, addition from Unreal 227, and uh, it is essentially a loading screen. <laughs> But it's very nicely made. It also shows off some of the really nice effects that you can get with Unreal 2 7. It's essentially a prison cell. It's quite a bit more advanced than the one in uh, Vortex Strikers. Oh hey, I can even see a uh, behemoth there and a few scar, and there's also uh, a mercenary there, apparently, a held prisoner, just like we are in this scar prison. And this guy is just looking over everything. <laughs> Pretty nice! It's interesting how they also made sure that those uh, scar guards go around everyone to check in on them. Quite nice. Oh yeah, and those panels light up. Oh hey, there's even a model of uh, uh, the mercenary there. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, now it faded out. I never really uh, explored this map before, so that's slightly new to me too. This bed could do with a bit of more polygons. <laughs> and that's a mirror. Yay. <laughs> well, that's pretty nice. But yeah, as a loading screen, it gets... Uh, gets displayed only when you're uh, launching some kind of uh, uh, internet game, usually. I'm not certain when that happens. It's basically just... Oh, right. Uh, it happens when uh, the level that you were in is already ended, so it's not loaded anymore. Uh, but the new level that you're supposed to be transferring to is also not yet loaded, and possibly is still being downloaded from the server, so that's when you see it. Yeah, that's the whole idea. And uh, so this is, like I said, a new addition from Unreal 227 that looks awesome. <laughs> uh, it is based on the original entry level, which I will show you right now. The old entry level. Uh, open entry. Yeah, this is the old entry level. As you can see, it's not as advanced. <laughs> it kind of looks more like Vortex Strikers, although it's different in the layout. But it also sports a window, a mirror, I mean. There's a toilet. <laughs> uh, a light, bars, and pretty much nothing else beyond this place. But that was the loading screen for the original Unreal, and that's what you get when you don't have Unreal 2.7 installed. So once again, install 2.7! <laughs> And the last thing I wanted to show you right now is... Uh, I think it's called Gateway. 
Yes, it is. The Gateway by Shane Cottle. This is a very special map. Actually, I wonder. Are those things real things that have something written on them or not? Let's see. Um, I need a translator. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything written on it. So, you start from this sort of... I guess... Transporter pad? It's possible. And this is... A ship. A very interesting mage. It's also been a while since I've been here. Uh, like a really long while. A few years, probably. This place is, like you can see, made quite nicely. There obviously has been quite a bit of work put into it. The Observation Lounge. With us 3 tc textures it looks even better. Very nice. Uh, and more space out there. Also, BSP errors. <laughs> All right, and what can we see? Here? More of these corridors. Nothing written here, apparently. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, that kind of panels is what was in the original uh, Vortex Strikers before I changed it to be more appropriate to the setting. Right, and what's here? It's a Stargate! <laughs> a non functional Stargate, too. Looks really nice, wow. You can tell that there has been a lot of work put into this. It's too bad that it was never used to much extent. Probably not a whole lot of people who are new to Unreal ever knew that this existed. Hey, that planet is moving. <laughs> I don't think it's a good thing that a planet or an asteroid is moving because it could probably collide with something. <laughs> right, so I went through there. What's here? So it doesn't look very right. Hmm. Oh, we're back here, okay. So this will lead us back there. Hey, is the ship again? Hey there, spaceship. Yeah. Where is the Tecker Observation Lounge? And let's go back up. This whole map is symmetrical, of course. And what is this? Hey, is that the engine coolant? <laughs> can I 
you and jump down there? I don't think so. Yeah. So there are three more gates here. Of course, none of them are functional. They're also not really supposed to have water in them, in that you're not supposed to interact with the water, you're supposed to be transported before you can reach it. So, there are three portals there. There was one portal that way. I assume there are three more portals here. Yes, there are. Yellow, red, and blue. And if we go down there, we can even take a shortcut. Yay! I bet we will find another stargate. Yes, we will. A brown stargate. Alright. So that's that, the gateway. Awesomely made. Uh, the story behind the gateway is that uh, it was used, well at least meant to be used, in early versions of Unreal. Uh, you saw yesterday the master server, well, the server browser that connects to the master server and displays all the servers that uh, you can join and play Unreal on. Um, but it is a recently, a rather recent addition. Also, there's no bridge. <laughs> uh, it's a new addition in that in the first release of Unreal, Unreal 200 or so, uh, there was no server browser. I think you could only connect by using IPs. Quite like you can in uh, Heroes of My Magic 3, for example. Uh, and in order to have something like a server browser, they created the gateway, like here. Uh, the gateway is essentially a template map so that uh, owners of several servers could just uh, take this map and then make those portals actually go to other servers. Because uh, teleporters can in fact lead you to different servers. Uh, so they could, for example, use these two large stargates to go to other uh, gateways so that they could chain, well, basically infinite gateways if they like. And since one gateway map like this allows you to use uh, six plus two gateways to other s maps or servers, uh, that means that you can, for example, use one of those to go to the previous gateway, the other one to go to the next gateway, and so have an infinite amount of actual teleporters. Uh, so this could act as a master server level instead of a master server. It was an interesting idea, and it makes server browsing quite a bit more... Uh, I guess... themed. <laughs> but of course it's a lot slower, and so after they created the server browser, this map became obsolete. And I don't think it was ever used in the way it was intended, even. But still, it's very interesting to see how much work has been put into this. It's a very nice level. Even with polished floor. <laughs> so yeah, that will be all that I wanted to show you this time. Uh, 
bow. Let's just go to what that map was called. Uh, oh, wait a second, I will find it. Alright, there we go. Uh, it's end game. And it's just the ending flyby once again. I just want to show you that the bug was, in fact, uh, fixed at this point. And that will give me some more time to give a few final remarks. So as you can see, the uh, cooperative mode, even though you couldn't see a lot of people in there, perhaps there are more at this point, but I doubt it because it's even more nice in the US at this point. Uh, yeah, so the cooperative mode is something that is still actively being played on Unreal, despite the fact that Unreal is... what, like, more than 10 years old now? No, wait. Uh, uh, well, it's still old. Uh, right, it was 2002, 10 years old. Uh, so that means that it was way older. Yeah, it's 15 years old, basically. So even after that much time, Unreal is still being played actively online, and it's quite spectacular to think about it. Uh, so despite the fact that this game is old, there are multiple projects trying to bring it back to life, essentially. Like you can see the S3TC textures here, or um, uh, the patch 227, or well, my own Unreal Enhancement project. So even though it's really old, it still gets a lot of attention. And I would very much recommend, if you liked what you saw, to get this. Uh, because, well, on one hand, this game, at this point in time, is extremely cheap. Uh, you can find it on good old games, even in a bundle. Uh, there is the Unreal Pack, uh, which gives you quite a bit of a discount on all Unreal games, so you can get all of them at the same time for a reasonable price. Very reasonable price, even. Or you can, like I did, get the Unreal Anthology as a... Uh, box version, if it's still sold somewhere, because, well, Midway that was publishing it uh, just got bankrupt, so <laughs> they're probably no longer publishing. Oh, it says press fire to start. Huh, nice. Uh, so, yeah, I recommend getting this game. Uh, one thing is that there are still a lot of active projects going on, and you can expect well, that's interesting. <laughs> you can still expect to see quite a bit of development in this game in the future. And on the other hand, there is a lot of custom content already uh, made for Unreal. Because even in the old Unreal uh, map section, there is like, what, a thousand and a half maps? That's of course not even all of them, and some of those are map packs, even. So there is a lot of content in this game. Basically, you could say that it has infinite replayability due to that. Uh, you can play co-op as much as you want, and it's always entertaining when there are people around. Uh, you can install new maps, you can install new mutators, and that will keep you busy for quite a while. And plus, if you are into it, like I am, you can create your own mods very easily. Especially with patch 2.7 that adds a lot more options for mod making. So yes, once again, I recommend trying this game out. Getting it from good old games or otherwise, and, well, taking it for a spin. Now, as to my own plans now that I have finished Unreal, 
Um, there is of course a real return to Napali that I will be playing at some point, but not now. Also, does pressing power to start work? Oh, it brings us to the traditional flyby. Okay. Um, so yeah, my plans. There will be a real return to Napali later on, but I want to take a bit of break from Unreal now that I have finished it. And next up we'll be going back to Heroes Chronicles games. Uh, and after that you will get the long-awaited uh, second game in the Might and Magic RPG series, that is... My Magic 2, Gates to Another World. After that, we'll go to another Heroes Chronicles game, and then we will go to Return to Napali. So, yes, that's our some of our long-term goals. And, well, uh, it was fun playing this game. Like I said, I'm very knowledgeable about the game itself, and also the engine. So, it's not only interesting for me from gameplay and atmosphere perspective, but also from the modding perspective and things like that, also mapping. I've done a few maps in Unreal 2, perhaps I should uh, do a video on them at some point. Because, well, actually I worked more in the Unreal Tournament editor, because back then since Unreal 2.7 didn't have the Unreal Editor fixed, I had to use the newer Unreal Editor in uh, Unreal Tournament. So perhaps I will show my own maps there. Because I do have some of the interesting variety to show you. Uh, mostly related to Might and Magic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that will be for a later time, once we get to a real tournament, and that will take a while. <laughs> so, yeah. I enjoyed this game quite a bit. It was nice playing through it. It was nice working on uh, Unreal Enhanced Edition. I also urge others to join Unreal Enhanced Editions so that it would go faster. Because we still have only two people working on it, and that's not a whole lot. Um, and yes, I still have some mod ideas for Unreal. Mostly mod ideas for Unreal Tournament 2004, actually, and I have done a few mods for it already, and they were quite successful, too. Uh, but once again, we'll talk more about that once we get to Unreal Tournament games. That will also come sometime in the future. And for now, I think that is all that I wanted to say. So stay tuned for more, and... I will see you all then. Later.